So, my sweetheart, what is the amazing topic for today's show? Well, the topic for today, the men are going to love. Stay tuned because you're going to be hearing about how the men are to protect the women and the children. I'll keep shining my light, shining my light. Life with same, God is so good. And I'm thankful for so come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center living, of everything. Yeah. This topic today is, is actually one that, that is very, very important to me, very fascinating. Most of the time, when a young man's growing up, they're, they're taught that one day they're going to be the man of the house, and they're going to be responsible for taking care of their family. The keeper of the gate at their house, the Praetorian Guard, um, the man of the house type of scenario. And I think that's very important to me, because a man wants to grow up knowing that he's, that he's providing for his family, he's taking care of his family, if there's danger, um, the man is the one who steps up to kind of uh, shield uh, his family from whatever scenarios might, might come. I think it's very important for a man to understand his place and his duty in that role. It's beautiful. You know, God is a protector and that's one of his major roles is that he protects those that he loves. And so he passes down that, I guess, male hormone and uh, whatever it is inside these guys where they just really want to do whatever they can to protect uh, the, the, the weaker vessels and those that, that can't protect themselves, so, mm -hmm. you know, and so it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Now, Joe is amazing because this is so instinctive inside of him that he's um, a protector uh, on, on a, a daily basis. I don't know of a day that doesn't go by that he's not looking his stance, he's thinking about it. And even from taking my hand and walking me down the stage, he's protecting me. Uh, every time I'm walking down the steps, he will lean back, grab my hand, and uh, make sure that I get into down the steps safely and into the car safely. He's always looking around. He's always checking. When he's driving, he's very careful. And when he's flying, he is uber careful, very uber careful. You know, it, it gives me a tremendous sense of purpose um, to, 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 to know that Gwen's okay, to know that um, my home is okay. I'm always keeping my eyes open um, and, and, and just making sure that the grounds are secure and uh, it gives me a good feeling to be able to do that. I have friends out of 5th Group here at Fort Campbell, some really good friends out of the 3rd Ranger Battalion out of Fort Benning, Georgia. When I was out on the West Coast, I had some really good friends out of Camp Pendleton. I was born in San Diego, and that's out there uh, on the very close to San Diego. So I had some really good friends in the Marine Corps out there, and I really enjoy being around those type of guys because they have that they have that sheepdog mentality too. They've taken an oath to, to not only protect their families, but they've taken an oath to uphold the United States Constitution and these wonderful United States that we live in. I just feel that it's really important and it's a scriptural thing too. God talks to us in the Bible about being, about being good soldiers for our family. Out of 2 Samuel it says, Be strong and let us fight bravely for our people and the cities of our God. The Lord will do what is good in His sight. 1 Corinthians, Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be men of courage and be strong. James, Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. It's beautiful. It really is a defining characteristic of Joe Laura. And I'll tell you that there's not a night that doesn't go by that he is not going. And we have like a lot of doors just on the first floor. Um, the, the access into this, this old home that was built in 1832. And so he, is, he goes around the regular routine every evening and you just hear him going through, checking all the doors, locking everything back up. The other night, for example, uh, I, I heard some type of bump downstairs in the night and I hugged my pillow and I said, Gwen, go check it out. Right, and he made me go like look and see if that was a burglar or not. I was scared to death, but she, she went and reconned the area and everything was fine. <laughs> I came back in and said, you know, aye, aye, sir, everything's clear. You know, you can go back to sleep now. <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> <sighs> that did not happen. I can guarantee you that uh, his feet hit the deck first 
and uh, he's 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 up and out and checking it all out. So another thing he does is that uh, if we're ever at a um, like scouting it out, I don't care where we are, but he's scouting out in this day and age. Um, you know, he there's there's all kind of craziness that goes on out there everywhere. He'll make sure that he's sitting even at restaurants where he can see the door. Uh, it's it's little things like that. I have just been blown away at his his protective nature. It just goes from from his down, his head down to his toes. It's just a part of his DNA. The other thing is that uh, that I feel like it's super super important, and that is that he has always said from the very beginning that he was there to protect my heart. Gwen. There have been many times that I thought I would never find someone to share my life with, but I realize now, everything has always been leading to you, my true soulmate. I am honored, I am truly honored to vow to you today to never look to the left or to the right. I vow to only look forward with you into this incredible journey that the Lord has in store for us. And if the dark forces should ever manifest themselves against us, I vow to never stand behind you, because I'll be in front of you. God has not only put it in my heart to protect you, but also to protect this holy message that he has anointed you to preach. So I vow to protect this temple and this message with all my heart. I am honored to stand before God before you and before this unbelievable family of saints to become your husband. I have found my calling in life and it is to be by your side and I will never forsake it. That's what men really need, need to hear, that there's the protection of the physical, but the protection of the spiritual Paul talks about in Ephesians that, you know, the men are to to lay their lives down for him. Well, Joe instinctively makes sure that my heart does not hurt. If I'm ever quiet or ever hurting, he he doesn't get upset or angry or, you know, why are you that way or whatever. He's the opposite. And he gets super gentle and he gets super kind and he and he, and he just does he says whatever he can gently to make sure that my heart is not hurting and he wants to know why it's hurting. And then he'll say something like, you know, Gwen, I, you know, that can't be. I don't want your heart to hurt. And that, we're, we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix that. That's not gonna happen again. And uh, then he holds to his word. That is, that is as masculine as you can get. That's as manly as you can get. And if all the men in this, in this world were, were like that, what a difference. Uh, the, what a difference it would make in the world. There's a lot of things that uh, the secular world can bring into into our lives that can be can be hurtful emotionally and not only physically. So I always tell Gwen if she's hurting then I'm hurting and when I see her upset or when I see her troubled by something that's going on in our lives we get through those things as well and it leaves you feeling not only closer but it gives you that sense of purpose like like you're, you're part of that team and you're, you're, you're working on making things as good as they can be. And in the end too, one of the things that he uses as a tool to keep it all going is a lot of humor around the house. So there's a lot of singing. Moi. <laughs> you. And there's a lot of laughter and there's a lot of joking around and that gets everybody back into a great mood. And so <laughs> that whole combination is incredibly, incredibly Christ-like. It's an incredibly God-like. It is, it is like our God, and so I'm thankful. And I'm not the Lone Ranger. I know a lot of guys at our church who are very, very, very upright men who not only protect their families physically, but they protect their families emotionally, and um, they, they keep things squared away. And I'm very proud to know those guys. Those are the type of guys I like being around. And we all kind of have that common thread running through our, our DNA to, to protect our, our fortress, to protect our families. If the man's not the man of the house, then there's a good chance that the house is in disarray. And um, 
So I kind of challenge all of you guys out there to step up and to take care of business. Grit your teeth a little bit, clench your fists, and, and uh, do the right thing. And don't be afraid to, to really take that leader role, be the tip of the spear for your family, be that sheepdog, and, and let them know how much you care about them. Be willing to, to lay it all down. And there's nothing like watching your, your children, your son or your daughter, your wife, see you in that light. It gives you a true sense of purpose and it, it leaves you feeling really good, like, like, like you've really found your place in the family and, um, and in your life. So thank you guys for joining us and uh, looking forward to seeing you next time. Love you all. Take care. Thanks for being with us. I just want I just want everybody to know that this is what Joe Lara does every night around our bed. <laughs> and make sure that I'm safe. So this is my church. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you are notified when we have a new video.